The Clockwork Course. Terms and conditions legal notice the publisher has strived to be as accurate and complete as possible in the creation of this report, notwithstanding the fact that he does not warrant or represent at any time that the contents within are accurate due to the rapidly changing nature of the Internet. While all attempts have been made to verify information provided in this publication, the publisher assumes no responsibility for errors, omissions, or contrary interpretation of the subject matter herein. Any perceived slights of specific persons, peoples, or organizations are unintentional. In practical advice books, like anything else in life, there are no guarantees of income made. Readers are cautioned to reply on their own judgment about their individual circumstances to act accordingly. This book is not intended for use as a source of legal, business, accounting or financial advice. All readers are advised to seek services of competent professionals in legal, business, accounting and finance fields. You are encouraged to print this book for easy reading. Table of Contents Forward Chapter 1 Time Management Basics Chapter 2 Make a Time Log to Figure Out Daily Time Wasters Chapter 3 Clarify Your Objectives Chapter 4 Learn to Stay Focused Chapter 5 Make a Daily To-Do List Chapter 6 Set Time Limits for Every Task Chapter 7 Combine Tasks Chapter 8 Make Sure to Completely Finish Tasks Chapter 9 Use Positive Self-Talk to Defeat Procrastination Chapter 10 The Detriments of Daily Time Wasters Wrapping Up Forward practicing good time management routines allows the individual to have or create better control in life and in the environment around them. It is a style of conscious control over the amount of time allotted to the various activities in any given time frame. Learning to strictly abide by these time frames allow an individual to be more focused and efficient in any endeavor undertaken. The Clockwork course discover how to manage your time effectively and create more hours in a day. Chapter 1. Time Management Basics Synopsis Time Management can be applied using the aid of many different and helpful tools. There are skill that can be applied, tools that can assist in keeping and reminding of the time set and also techniques that can be utilized to optimize time management functions. Time management can be advantageous when used in the context of planning, allocating, goal setting, execution of project timelines, analysis, monitoring, organizing, and many other possibilities. Introduction Almost every facet of an individual's life requires the advantageous discipline of having good time management regiments. Learning to time manages well keep the stress level low and the mind at ease. Some of the simpler and commonly used time management tools are clocks, watches, calendars, appointment books, visual charts, and notifications. The more modern tolls would include PDAs, handphone alerts, computers, and personal alert gadgets and so on. Important endeavors certainly require the prerequisites of setting realistic and achievable time management blueprints. Project management, attention management, personal knowledge management are just a few of the professional scenarios where efficient time management is high regarded and highly necessary. Time management is also popularly associated with the carving out of personal goals. Drawing a good time management chart before embarking on the goal-setting journey will help to positively contribute to the success of achieving the said goal. Breaking down a goal into smaller steps with specific timeline schedules help to keep the goal schedule on track and efficient. Chapter 2. Make a time log to figure out daily time wasters synopsis Making a daily timeline log would be a simple exercise. Creating complicated one will not only take up unnecessary time but also end up being too overwhelming to follow. Complicated timelines can be discouraging rather than helpful. Track these creating a daily log which is tagged to a functional timeline will help the individual to better manage their daily routines efficiently and effectively. In doing this regularly one is able to have a check and balance visual track of the progress made. This also enables the individual to make the necessary changes to improve in the areas that are in need. It is a popular belief that most people waste precious time on efforts made when there is no urgency or time management elements involved in the exercise or task at hand. One way of successfully avoid this is to make a daily time log. Here are some tips that can help anyone interested in following this proven efficient formula. 
Start with making a list of all the things that need to be done or require attention in an approximately 12 to 15 hour cycle. After this is done, rearrange the items according to its importance or urgency. If it is difficult to decide, then categorize them into those that will have the most impact either long term or short term against those that won't affect any impact at all. It may be surprising to note that half if not more of the items listed are of no real importance at all. Once this is firmly decided, allot a realistic timeline for each item to be completed. Then try to stick to these targets without being distracted in any way and don't take on any other unlisted items, as this may cause unnecessary distractions. At the end of each day, unbiasedly review the results achieved based on the timeline given for the day. From this review one will be able to make the necessary changes to ensure better time management for the next day's projections. Chapter 3. Clarify your objective synopsis Having an objective in mind when planning something is very similar to having a goal. Both these similarities require the disciple and complementing tools to help produce the success desired. Objectives are popularly thought of as statements for specific outcomes that are to be achieved within a certain time frame and criteria. Another popular way of looking at objectives is as a hierarchy of steps based on forward-moving terms which help set and execute the terms and conditions of an endeavor. Get clear in order for the desired results to be achieved there are certain necessary steps that should be taken. Below are some of the recommended steps to be considered with a degree of seriousness as they all contribute to the percentage of success achieved. The first step to be clear about is the purpose of the endeavor. Questions like why, who, what, where are all very important and need to be properly addressed in order for a clear and complete picture to be visualized. Then the vision behind the endeavor should be explained and thoroughly understood by all concerned. The overall aspiration should be clearly accepted and discussed. General statements based on the aims and goals should be voiced so that the relevant timelines and project management aspects can be adequately addressed. Also to be addressed at this point is the intended achievement that is being sought during the execution of the said endeavor. Finally a clear and preferably very visual objective should be portrayed for all those involved to have a clear as possible view in the mind's eye of the objective. Precise and detailed statements, goals, and aims should be well documented for all to know. When all the above is clearly and precisely shown, success of the objective will be easier to achieve and the moral of those participating will be kept at all-time highs. Chapter 4. Learn to stay focused Synopsis Staying focused is very important when embarking on any kind of endeavor. Staying focused helps to keep the individual committed to completing the said endeavor in a satisfactory manner. Most times people allow themselves to be distracted and thus the end results are never pleasing or even finished. Center everyone goes through periods of lulls in their zest for getting things done. The enthusiasm levels are high and the excitement is ever present, but when a shift occurs and the burnout feeling starts to seep in, it's time to stop and take a fresh look at the situation at hand and make the necessary change and quickly. There are some recommended steps which are commonly used to starve off the lull into becoming a permanent feeling. Clearing all unnecessary distractions from the general lifestyle of the daily routine is a good place to start. Everyone has a certain amount of distractions in their lives, but the important thing is to never allow these distractions to become the domineering factor. Distractions like television, video games, unhealthy foods, and laziness to name a few. None of these distractions are very difficult to give up. All it takes is a little discipline and focus. Create a lot of new and good habits. Replacing a bad habit with a good one will help the individual shift the negative the onset of a lull. However, practicing the good habit, daily, must be done consistently for about a month. This will ensure the end goal is still in sight and attainable. Staying focused is easy when everyone else around subscribes to the same mindset. If everyone is very focused on the goal at hand, the individual will have no choice but to follow along or be totally left out. Moving out of the company of those who are holding the individual back is a very wise decision to make. Chapter 5. Make a daily to-do list synopsis Making a to-do list is easy while keeping it is a whole other problem. 
In today's world where demands are coming from every direction, sometimes it is not easy to remember or keep up with all the various demands, all of which seem equally important. There are several ways to make a comprehensive yet concise daily to-do list. Here are some recommendations anyone will find easy to follow. Write it down choosing the right medium to use when making a daily to-do list is extremely important. Some people may like to use visual aids while other may opt to use the latest technological accessories available solely for this purpose. For those who are not so technically savvy, the use of a simple notepad will suffice. The important thing to note is, whatever tool is used to compile the to-do list, the feature of adding and removing items from the list must be readily available. Making sure the to-do list is visible throughout the day is also equally important. There is no point compiling a list if it is going to be forgotten through the course of a busy day. Keeping the list visible also ensures the sense of urgency is reinforced so that there is no slacking off or laziness to compromise the completion of the items on the to-do list. Starting each day fresh with a to-do list is also a great way to put down on paper what the thought process has created. It also ensures there is no last-minute rushing around trying to complete things forgotten. This poor organizing scenario eventually causes stress and health problems. Limit the items on the list to those requiring immediate attention or items that can be completed within a day's time frame. Putting too many items on the list will only end up either causing unnecessary stress or poor quality work. Chapter 6. Set time limits for every task synopsis Every successful endeavor requires some sort of time limitations to follow in order to create a conducive and workable environment. Therefore setting time limits for each endeavor should be an important prerequisite. These time limits or deadlines as they are otherwise referred to as a specific time frame or particular point in time whereby a set objective or task has to be fulfilled. There are no allowances given or accepted. Set a time in order to be able to accomplish many tasks set and complete them satisfactorily. The element of time limits must be present and adhered to without exception. These time limits not only give everyone connected to the endeavor a check and balance opportunity but also ensure the smoothness of the exercise. Time limits set on a task especially if it requires the participation of various individuals, will help to keep each individual accountable for their particular contribution to the overall endeavor. By setting time limits it will decrease the possibility of having the project stall because of certain individual not performing up to par. Time limits set on a task will also ensure the individual stays focused until the task is successfully completed. This in turn will allow for further tasks to be assigned. More work will be accomplished if there is a time limit set, as the mindset is already used to the routine of following this style. Time limits also help to address problems before they snowball and become impossible to address. At every juncture, it should be possible to set time limits for every task as this will eventually provide the opportunity for adjustments to be made to positively impact the general outcome of the project in question. This style also helps to avoid any unnecessary delays that would otherwise occur if there was no time limit imposed. Chapter 7. Combine Tasks Synopsis In order to stay competitive and relevant today, most people have learned to multitask. This if done efficiently can actually help to accomplish a lot of things within a limited period of time. Though challenging, combining tasks can actually heighten an individual's attention, capabilities and the accurate executions of things. Blend it if there is a list of tasks that needs to be completed. The best way to get it done would be to pair up the most closely identifiable elements that would require similar execution styles. In doing this the individual would be able to also concentrate on a particular interrelated area before moving on to the next level in the task framework. Again if done correctly, combining tasks can also contribute to a shorter time frame needed to accomplish the list of tasks given. However, it should be noted that the framework included in each task must be as closely related as possible otherwise there is the danger of completely messing the entire workload up and thus requiring the whole task to be redone. This of course is a negative result that should be avoided at all costs. Thus there should be certain degree of discernment when mapping out the combinations involved in pairing the tasks. Most women, 
especially mothers can attest to the almost daily necessity of combining tasks in order to get through the daily routine. It is not surprising to note that most mothers have become really quite good at combining and completing tasks efficiently and quickly. In the workplace both men and women are expected to learn how to combine tasks and most are quite capable of doing so. This style of getting as much done in a shorter space of time is really almost a prerequisite in most scenarios and situations. Chapter 8. Make sure to completely finish task synopsis Some people have the tendency to take on more tasks than they are capable of completing, while others take on tasks but have very little intentions of completing them. Both scenarios are unacceptable and really quite destructive and certainly not beneficial to form into a habit. Complete jobs The first step to take when addressing this issue is, whether one is capable and up to the task presented. By considering the task and making the decision of embark on it, the attitude involved from the start must be both positive and open. With the correct attitude at the onset of the task, the first hurdle is crossed successfully. Attitude is a huge contributing factor as to whether or not the task will be completed or not and also if the results derived from the task will be satisfactory. In order to see a task to its completion, it would also be wise to include a timeline. This timeline ideally should be practical and workable. When this timeline fact is clearly and firmly enforced into the task framework then all concerned can work comfortably toward completing the task. Finishing a task before embarking on another task is a very important attitude and discipline to cultivate and live by. Every task started should have some sort of check and balance system to ensure the task runs as expected. It also helps create a sense of accomplishment when each task is successfully completed. The confidence levels built on the part of the participant in the task and the task master will also increase, thus leading to a good reputation being built. In being able to complete a task efficiently, an individual is displaying the characteristics that can be shown as reliable and trustworthy. When these good work ethics have been firmly established, more tasks can be confidently assigned. Chapter 9. Use positive self-talk to defeat procrastination synopsis Though there are many tools in the marketplace that can be used to motivate people, there is actually no real good substitute for self-motivation. Sometimes listening to a lot of motivational talks, reading motivational books, acquiring motivational skills or even being in the company of highly motivated people will not bring on the self-motivation needed to push an individual to go the extra mile. This needs to be done by the individual himself or herself. The positive choice has to be made individually and firmly. Some suggestions many people have attested to the fact that self-motivation does work if done properly and consistently. The consistent bombardment of positive self-talk or motivation is what contributes to the success of defeating the procrastination factor. There is not always someone around to motivate so self-talk is the next best thing. Procrastination can be easily overcome by a few simple constantly repeated positive ideas and captions which when verbalized often enough will eventually, trick, the mind into acknowledging it as a reality. When this, reality, is firmly accepted and becomes the mindset of the individual the battle against procrastination is almost won. The most popular and some say childish yet effective line many people use is the one about the train and the hill. It goes something like this. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, this line of thought will eventually motivate the subconscious mind set into accepting the fact that the body is willing to try and now all it takes is the mind to work together with the body to make it happen and overcome procrastination. Here are a few other recommended self-talk lines that can be used to overcome procrastination. I can do it, I will do it 28. I am doing it, I want to do it, I am a success. I am a capable person, I will succeed. Chapter 10. The Detriments of Daily Time Wasters Synopsis Wasting Time. Dot the age-old problem everyone is faced with either directly or indirectly. Some understand that time waits for no man. However sadly there are still others that don't understand this vital concept and thus go about procrastinating or simply just wasting time. What you need to know in order to stop the bad habit of wasting time one must first understand the enormity of the consequences that results from wasting time. 
time wasted can never be replaced thus learning to manage time well would certainly benefit an individual and those around. When time wasting becomes a habit, it is often difficult to break and furthermore can cause a lot of complications and problems. Projects don't get completed. Projects stall. Opportunities are not taken. Confidences are lost. And these are just some of the few detrimental effects of not being time conscious. In some severe cases, relationships can also face problems and even end due to one person's constant time wasting habits. Several factors can cause people to waste time or have poor time management skills. Some of which are the sense of lack of urgency, laziness, selfishness just to name a few. These bad character habits can cause severe detrimental repercussions to any work condition or to personal performances. In order to avoid becoming a time waster and possibly a procrastinator the following are just some recommendations one can consider following. Put down on paper a suitable daily task chart. Include a realistic timeline for each task. Ensure the relevant tools are available at hand. Have certain reminders in place to ensure the focus is kept. Tick off the tasks as they are completed. Wrapping up and implementing these simple, can do, exercises the possibility of time wasting has decreased considerable. The check and balance element included will allow for the individual to be constantly aware of the necessity to stay on track and to complete all the tasks assigned. Thank you watching my video.